So the Women in Data Science conferences initially started at Stanford University. We joined the, women, the International Women in Data Science Conference at CU last year. It's been around for a while. And uh, we also decided to showcase the best uh, data scientists, female data scientists in Budapest. This is particularly important. We have um, a, a fairly new data science, data network science department, and data science methods are used by our students in a variety of other departments and disciplines as well. Um, and we plan to grow. We are about to start the quantitative social science uh, bachelor's program. Uh, so it is really important to recruit students and it is also highly important for CEU uh, in general and for this program in particular to have uh, diversity in the program. So to make sure that there are that, that women are applying to study and also to teach in these programs and in, in the courses. Uh, this is obviously important for reasons of fairness and also important um, for a variety of other reasons because we want to use the capacity and the talent that women bring to the program. Women are really interested to do data science for social good and it can be something which, which actually raise their attention and we can see a lot of very good female data scientists in particular in that field and we wanted to show it's growing here. So we're gonna have three really good uh, uh, speakers. We're going to talk about how the situation is in Hungary, how we can use it. We uh, made a poster competition for which we had almost 30 applications. We also made a call for a junior speaker. So basically it means that we invited four amazing women, but we kept one speech open and we made a call for junior scholars and also uh, junior um, business women um, to be able to apply for that call. Um, and we also had an amazing number of applications for that and then we selected Ida Urban who will be a junior speaker this year. Two and a half years ago um, I had an experience, uh, that was the first time I have been talking to a blind person and, um, and it gave me the motivation for deep learning. Um, it gave me the motivation to, to create a, a screen reader for blind and visually impaired uh, students and little children to help them uh, to get more access to scientific learning materials and, and to, to help get, getting them a better education, I guess. But nowadays, uh, modern screen readers for blind and visually impaired people can't really interpret uh, scientific notations and expressions. Let them be typed or handwritten. They just can't deal with it and I think it's a violation of <laughs> equality of opportunity. So I would like to tackle this issue with my work. If you do a Google search uh, on picture of a CEO, today you get 100% man picture, 95 or 97% of them are white men. Yet if you go out there in the world, most people live in Asia, in Africa, you should see at least uh, the diversity of race in that result. But there's also women CEOs in the world, not as many as I would like, for example, but there are, and they're absolutely not represented. So the, if, the, if we don't clear the data, if we don't make sure uh, that the algorithms and uh, people searching you know, realize that trap uh, that we're going around in circles, that we're never going to get um, to equality and we're always going to bring back the privileged groups uh, in every search. Scientific careers and scientific projects are still perceived as a, as a boy's thing and uh, many people tend to believe that, that it's, just, it's just not for females but I truly believe that it, it's not true. Uh, you, just have to, you just have to find a project that you love doing and, uh, and do it and don't even think about what other people say or think about you. Um, stand up for yourself, raise your voice if you need to and, and do it with all your heart. I think the message of this conference is first for other women to show that you are good enough, you are awesome, you can work in such companies, in such uh, researches everywhere where you want, if you, if you want. And the other, other message for, for a broader uh, group of people is that to show that, yeah, women are in science, women are in big tech companies and we do the very same things than men does or even better. My message for the ladies today actually will be to get their act together, recognize the issues like unconscious bias that's holding all of us back in terms of making the change 
and, and go for it and make that change.